Hello and welcome to I Fix Old Stuff with Thomas Hughes. Got a problem here. I've got an IC that I need to use. This is an HA11423, which is a color TV deflection signal processor. Interestingly enough, I've got a Wells Gardner K4900 monitor I'm working on, and I'm troubleshooting some problems on it, and I need to replace this chip. The problem is the only replacement I have has two broken legs. So how can we fix that? Well, easy way to do this is using what's called a single inline socket. Okay. Now you could do this with a regular socket. However, I like to use these because I can break. I don't have to stock tons of different uh, sizes of sockets. All I need is this, and I can break off as many pieces as I need. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert this in the socket, like so. Get it in there. It's a bit fidgety. Okay, so very gently insert that into this single inline socket. Okay, now there's enough metal here and here where I can actually insert a wire. What I'm going to use is this I've got a capacitor here. I'm going to cut the leads off. Okay, and we're going to jam that in the, the hole here. And then I'm going to solder it to that broken leg and then I'll uh, cut that off and put one on the other side and we should be ready to go. So let's give it a try and see what happens. Okay, now all we got to do is just solder that onto the leftover terminals. Get some solder here. I'm going to get that soldering iron a bit hot. See how it's smoking like that? I find that happens when you've got your soldering iron too hot. Okay, so just go in here. Okay, let's inspect our work. I think I've got a bit of a solder bridge there, so I'll go in with a uh, screwdriver here. Just make sure. There we go. Okay, that's it. All right, we'll trim that off just to make it look neat. Okay, and now we can just trim this socket. So what I like to do, I just use some flush cut pliers here and just go in and just gently kind of give that a bit of a squeeze. There we go. Alrighty, then what I'll do is I'll take a multimeter and I'll just make sure that I've got continuity between here and here. And there you go, we've saved that chip. Awesome. Okay, now you need to do the other side, of course, so that's very simple. Just slide it in. Push. Okay, and again, go in and trim. And there we go. Right, you've saved an old IC. And I've done this with some old RAM chips. Uh, I was working on my Defender, and uh, the only RAM chip I had I had a broken leg. So it, it worked quite well. There you go. So that's how you can save an old IC. Right. Okay, thanks for watching.